Hey there, welcome back to Sharon's Homestead. There's a little moment that I want to share with you. So I'm super grateful for my dad. Um, my dad's been gone now for over 20 years and some of the things that he taught me is still like reverberating in my mind and my heart and have saved me from getting into a lot of issues. One of those is how to do um, minor repairs on a car. Very minor, but it was enough to help me and keep me from being stranded. Um, so today I was in a car and I was riding with someone and um, steam started coming from under the hood of the car, like billows of steam and you can hear like and water. And I'm like, oh no, I hope it's not the radiator. Like, oh man, I wonder what's going on. And so we parked the vehicle. Next thing you know, water's just spitting out from all, um, from all this uh, steam where the hoses were. And so um, I looked at it and I knew exactly what to do thanks to my dad. Let me show you what I did and hopefully it'll help you too. Now, bear in mind, when I started messing with it, um, I made sure that the car had cooled down, right? So it wasn't hot, it wasn't spitting out, I just let it like sit, rest until it cooled down. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So do you see right here, bring it closer, Right here, I literally took a flathead screwdriver and I unscrewed right here. I slid the little clamp down. And when I slid the clamp down, I took my scissors, these, and I literally just cut the hose. And when I cut the hose to the part that I needed, let me show you how it goes down in here. I literally slid this pipe all the way up until I, um, until it got to the part where it just kind of stopped where you couldn't slide it no more. I slid the clamp right back up, took my fill, um, flathead screwdriver and screwed it back in. Now, I'm super excited about that because by doing so, it saved me some money. I didn't panic and yes, I'm on the side of the road, but I'm about to crank up because I'm done. I'm super excited about that and look at this. This is what I cut. So this is probably maybe about two inches off of the hose. And so that's really cool. Um, so I'm really thankful that my dad taught me something. So men out there, if you have daughters, don't think that um, what you're telling them is gonna go to waste or that they're not listening. Because even if they don't wanna hold the flashlight, and even if it's like, oh my gosh, it's like pulling teeth for her to watch what I'm doing, keep trying because you may save her life. You may keep her from being stranded on the side of the road. Well, I'm getting ready to go. I can crank up and leave now. Hope you have a great day. Bye.